our voices. Here is your question. As a young Chinese Filipino, how do you show your love for your Chinese heritage and your love for your being a Filipino? First of all, I want to let everybody know that we are Chinese by heritage, but we are Filipino by heart. And we owe a lot to this country. So I want to thank each and every Filipino. And I want to be a good bridge, a good bridge to Chinese and Filipino. I want to show the legacy of what we are doing here. Of me, first of all, Mr. and Miss Chinatown, championing advocacies for us. So I want to advocate for our culture and heritage. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Moises. Thank you, sir. Okay, let's have our next candidate. Candidate number five, Sabrina Nam. All right. Good evening, Sabrina Nam. Your final question would be this one. As a young Chinese Filipino, how do you show your love for your Chinese Chinese heritage and your love for being a Filipino? I can apply this in my life, especially in college, because I was able to meet new people from various parts of the Philippines. Before, I used to only be surrounded by Ikans and those who are of full Chinese blood. So now I was able to get to know more of them and show them that it doesn't have to be based on your race, who you love or who you care about, who your friends are and who you have to be. It is all about being loving to all those you love, even if... Thank you. All right, thank you so much. So, Green and Thank you. I am also an Ikan. Very proud to have you here on stage. Okay, let's call in our next male candidate in the form of Candidate number seven, Brian Christopher Gocheko. All right, Brian, here is your final question. As a young Chinese Filipino, how do you show your love for your Chinese heritage and your love for being a Filipino? Um, with that, uh, I am both Chinese and Filipino, not only by culture, but by blood. And um, before answering that question, I would like to say that um, being such, racial divide is uh, is common around the world, and we should be we should be uh, we should be Thank you so much, Brian. Thank you, Brian Christopher Pacheco, Kenya number seven. Now let's call in our next female, candidate number eight, Marie Kim. Okay, from here I can hear the the music of our candidates. Very, very loud. Very, very loud. It's impossible to, to sure. hear the question. Yep. Okay. Marie, your question goes. As a young Chinese Filipino, how do you show your love for your Chinese heritage and your love for being a Filipino? So hello everyone, I am Marika and I grew up in a very traditional Chinese family in Butuan City. It is a province in Mindanao and I was very exposed to both the Filipino and Chinese culture. Armed with this cross-culture understanding, I believe that I can help the Chinese Filipino community by showing them my knowledge about both cultures. I believe that Filipinos are very hardworking as well as the Chinese and we can better the future together. Thank you. Thank you. So Thank you so much, much. Marie Kye. We have two candidates left. And uh, we continue asking the final question for candidate number eight, Mr. Martin Leonard Chua. Good evening. Hello, Martin. You are the last male candidate to answer this question. As a young Chinese Filipino, how do you show your love for your Chinese heritage and your love for being a Filipino? As a young Chinese Filipino, of course, I do my best to learn the Filipino Chinese culture, language, and history. 
Um, but more than that, uh, with this pageant, that's why I love this pageant so much, especially the theme, because it's beauty and diversity. And through this pageant, I want to be able to show the Filipino Chinese community the beauty, beauty and diversity, not just in the physical form, but also being passionate and determined with whatever your commitments are, regardless of your background and your history. All right, on with that, thank you so much, Martin Chua. Beauty and diversity. Let's have Please. candidate number 10, Harley Chua. <laughs> okay, it's Harley Chua. Please breathe first, relax. <laughs> Again, you're given 30 seconds to answer this final question, and your final question goes As a young Chinese Filipino, how do you show your love for your Chinese heritage and your love for your being a Filipino? As a young Chinese Filipino, I will be able to share my love for the Chinese heritage and the Filipino Chinese Filipino heritage. First, of course, by bringing the culture of the Chinese heritage, not just of how I have grown up being a Dabawenya, but of course to showcase it, going to different places, sharing what I have grown up to, sharing what I am capable of sharing being a Dabawenya raised through the different cultures. Our differences unites us and makes us different. From our differences, that's what makes us unique. And that's what we've able to share to everyone. Shasha Tasha, thank you so much. Thank you. So right, thank much. you so much to uh, Harley Chua. Right, that completes our final round for a question and answer portion. I think all of them deserve a warm round of applause.